in Woodstock, and we're going to meet the artist, Adrian Tons, behind the Smiler. It's a chalkboard that gets changed about every month. It started during the pandemic, but he's keeping it up, and it's his way of connecting with the community. Hey, you guys. Good. Getting some attention here. Yeah. Most people call me the Smiler now. <laughs> Who like don't know me, they're like, you're the Smiler, aren't you? Which has now become uh, an institution here. Everyone in Woodstock and visitors are always entranced and, and love the work that Adrian does here. We always stop by and, oh my God, and take a picture on our phone and send it to someone. Tourists come by and they'll be glancing up at the work and then I get to stop and tell them about Adrian. He's Adrian? just an amazing talk artist. Honestly, I Honestly. didn't even know he did it till today. Yeah, I didn't know he did it until today either. <laughs> so I'm the youth services director at the Norman Williams Public Library. At the library, he's so nice <laughs> yeah, and everything. I know. He's the children's librarian. A bunch of those kids just said hello to you. Yeah. Design it on my iPad and then I have a layer that's just those dots, like a foot grid and then every four inches. We have a super artist in town. It's like having Monet in your town. And before the town smiler arrived, there was the town crier. I'm not sure when it started, maybe the 50s and 60s by a man named Frank Teagle. And he was sort of a community volunteer, eccentric kind of man. And he created this town crier board, which sort of just showed you know what the weather was and some uh, local happenings. Well, Matt, he kicked this thing off by giving me permission to go play on this thing. He went from the crier, you know, that sort of negative space of COVID, to trying to find inspiration for our community. I just wanted to do something, like participate. And I thought, well, really the only thing I can do is draw. It really was capturing the moment of what people were thinking um, and what he was reflecting back. Oh, there was also one, was it with Miss Green? Like he drew Miss Green? And I wanted to celebrate the fact that they were always out still, even with the mass and the snowy weather, it was the middle of winter and they're just still out there. You know, everyone was looking for some relief and some joy and this provided it. A public art experiment that kind of evolved out of COVID, took on a life of its own, driven by the response of the community. You get to see every masterpiece that Adrian creates. People just seek it out now and people get excited about it and stop all the time. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hey guys. And it doesn't get rained on and all that too much? That little roof does a pretty good yeah. job. Mm-hmm. Adrian often enlists help from community members when it comes time to erase the chalkboard. Doesn't that feel good though? It kind of does. Yeah. I'm life in this town or life in this state Life in this climate. We were just picking them over there. I never understood why some it drives some people crazy, dandelions. I think that they're like these free and easy little beautiful flowers. I know, we have so many dandelions at home. It's just so right for this time of year and that's what he does. I think it's really cool that it shows the seasons. Yeah, he shows like every month. There's a little Mother's Day message in here, a little mother-child bonding happening in there. It adds to the ambiance of the town. It feels like a phenomena that I'm participating in. I don't think it would fly in every town. I think that there's something about the size of Woodstock and the walkability of Woodstock. It's fantastic. I, I opened this store 45 years ago, so I've seen different things. Yeah, everyone needs an atrium, <laughs> but we're lucky to have them, so you can't take them. <laughs> a lot of people kind of think that the town pays me, um, which they don't. You see how it's built and how an artist works is a kind of a revelation. Well, people don't get an opportunity to just see people drawing. That's really fun, especially for the kids to stop. And this is my favorite question. Did you draw all of that? Thank, Thank you. you. See ya. We have a home in Bethel, we're here a lot and we come and visit downtown Woodstock and I always look forward to this billboard and his work. Oh. Yeah, so I said to my husband, I, said, I gotta take a picture because I have never seen you actually doing it. So this so. is your first time catching him. Yes. That's yes. exciting. Yes. I put him on Instagram. You do? But yeah, it's just, it just makes it feel a little worth it, all the stress and the freezing cold and rigging up something, roof over it so I can work in a snowstorm or whatever at like two o'clock in the morning. 
Yeah, I'm into the ephemeral art thing because I do the snow sculpture thing in the winter. Yeah, see? Not too many great green choices. So I moved here with my wife and kids in 2008. This whole weird chalkboard thing is has definitely done me a lot of good. I think when it started, it was uh, not an easy time. I mean, COVID was tough, but there were just a lot of changes going on in my life. And, you know, my wife had passed away a couple of years before that. It was just like a lot of coping about that and like a lot of just keeping up with life um, throughout all of that. And so there was something about having this ongoing project just really grounded me. That looks great. Thanks. I can't believe you're just freehanding that, man. I mean, I believe it. I'm, I'm watching you do it. <laughs> do you feel like this is resonating spring? Yes. This feeling of actual artwork being created in front of you just boost the feel of Woodstock. It's really a treat, and, and it's, it's just a wonderful thing for the whole community. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, sir. You can follow Adrian on Instagram, or maybe you'll catch him in action in Woodstock, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. I don't know why people see me working and then they're like, okay, I can ask that guy where the bathroom is. You don't stop like the telephone pole worker guy, like, hey, where's the bathroom? You're approachable, that's I a good thing. I guess so. You're the smiler. I'm the smiler. <laughs>